Oh, hello, I'm Monty Don, and welcome to another edition of Gardener's World. Okay, it's not really, it's me. Here we go. But actually, in this episode, we will be talking about gardening. Can you contain your excitement? I hope so. All right, for them, yeah, it's raining, but actually that is a good thing because at least the plants are being watered. It's literally been raining all day, but now it's looking good. I'm here in Broncorn. Got planes flying overhead. <laughs> planes, trains, and automobiles, or narrowboats. Boats are actually a brilliant place to have your plants on top because uh, obviously the slugs can't swim yet. You never know. Uh, they might evolve. Earlier on this year, I think it was April, I went to a garden centre in London and I picked up some herbs and planted up my own herb box on top of the roof of the boat. So, let's see what it looks like now. And look at that! It's all completely... Well, it's a bit overrun really, but um, well, we've got flowers there. It's, I mean, lavender's all come out, so that'd be really useful. Um, in terms of keeping my clothes sort of smelling nice in the in the cupboards, uh, the lemon balm is good. Apparently, lemon balm is good for keeping the uh, insects away, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think I've tested that one properly yet. And what else have we got here? Rosemary. You've got to have some rosemary, haven't you, if you're cooking, roasting. I've actually got two different types of thyme. So this one here is the normal type that you'd find. They're much better for cooking than the lemon thyme which you can actually see from this side looks really, actually really nice, very, very verdant is the word I believe and uh, yeah that's looking good. We go inside, here we go, I've got this uh, old fashioned whistling kettle. If you're on a narrowboat and you've got a water tank that's just basically metal and you put water in there then you're going to need to boil the kettle for a little bit long just to kill off all those germs. This is a rolling boil so I'm going to keep that going for about a minute and I'll take that off the boil I'm going to put the whole thing in there, that should be enough. And then uh, just really simple herbal tea. Now, it's just healthier than having like a, a mocha with just loads of extra sugar in it and, and all that, which I still might have later on. I don't know if you can see there, but the water has changed a really nice lemony colour. And it smells, smells pretty good. So if you haven't tried lemon balm tea before, I really recommend it. Right, now here is my tiny little wardrobe on board. And um, you can see all my suits and shirts are up there, all the stuff I've got to hang up. I've dried some lavender and um, there's not much there so I might replenish that later on. But basically that's hanging next to my shirts. It is actually smelling pretty good in there so that makes a change, doesn't it? <laughs> Another good thing about lavender is it keeps the moths away so um, it's definitely a must have for the boat. I've also got an open bottle of uh, aftershave, hopefully that will help as well. <laughs> so anyway. Cheers, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again next time on the Narrowboat Diaries. What? The Narrowboat Diaries?